Hey guys, and welcome to Resident Evil Village. This is the eighth installment in the Resident Evil franchise. And I am basically doing this video not exactly as a let's play. I mean, you will be seeing me play this game, but I will be taking my time with the game. Um, I've beaten this game already. Um, I, at the moment when I wanted to record the video, I was suffering from very bad allergies and so I couldn't do it. So I pretty much just played a lot of this game and I beat it. And so here I am playing this game for you guys. We're going to go through this game slowly. We're going to be playing on the standard difficulty and we are going to basically be using this as a way to understand the story of Resident Evil because this game seems to dig uh, deep into the very bottom lore, uh, the roots of Resident Evil's lores and kind of expands on it and also sets up for later stories and maybe some stories that can be coming very soon. I'm not exactly sure. So we're gonna be playing. Uh, I hope you enjoy the time that we spend here uh, enjoying and uh, having fun and learning and uh yeah if you enjoy this content make sure to leave a like uh subscribe also let me know if you would like to see any other games uh that we can delve into some stories um i know this week uh mass effect the trilogy comes out i will be playing that too because that is uh, a heavy story game and uh anyways so thank you guys for all watching and let's jump into the game Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner.
All right. So for a little context, for those who don't really know much about Resident Evil 7, if you haven't uh, played Resident Evil 7, I'm going to try to give you the quick rundown. Um, you think nothing? <clears throat> nothing. I'll put her down. Basically, this woman, uh, Mia, uh, the woman, the mother, uh, she was dating this guy that I'm controlling, Ethan, and uh, she went missing one day. Uh, she was on an assignment and was missing. And three years later, I believe it was like three years later, two years later, maybe. Um, a video came out to Ethan like said saying to that, that uh, you know, not to come to Louisiana, blah, blah, blah. And so, of course, Ethan was like, oh, my gosh, she's still alive. They thought she had died. And uh, so Ethan went to Dolby, Louisiana, where he ran into the Baker Almost family. There, right? Uh, a deranged group of people found Mia. Uh, she was being uh, possessed by something. And you find out that uh, Mia oh, was actually sweetheart. part of a, uh, you worry. a clandestine group downstairs. called the Co Connections, um, who was basically experimenting on this girl named Evelyn. Evelyn was a girl that they had made um, that had been uh, infected with this thing called the Metamycite. I think that's what it was called. Um, basically, she can control these monsters called the Mold. Uh, she did the same thing with uh, Jack Baker and the family, basically turning them into her slaves. And then um, uh, Mia, um, Mia and Ethan basically were saved by Chris Redfield, who was working with the, uh, working for the BSAA, the B Bio Terrorism Security Assessment, uh, something I don't know, BSAA. Um, he was working for the BSAA, working with the new, uh, what you call it, the new blue umbrella, Jesus. which was, uh, umbrella is basically a pharmaceutical company that created the t-virus that created all the zombies and now they're working to kind of clean their reputation after they were basically dismantled and yeah so yeah three years later here we are they both have a baby and yeah i hope that was Is a okay? pretty good short Nothing story like for a, you guys i like a baby <laughs> mm, that smells good what's that oh hands off mister it's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no.
Hey, Doc. Hey, No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on the Fuck. What the hell happened here? Okay, so, uh, for the sake of the story and everything, I'm gonna try to just shut my pie hole so that you guys can actually, uh, you know, kind of listen to everything that's going on. All right, so missing objectives. Eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Okay. So they were coming for me and, uh, me and Rose, my daughter. And for the, uh, you know, just to make sure that I'm not giving anybody kind of like false uh, twists or anything like that or setting anybody up to know that there's going to be a twist coming up. I will not be explaining anything uh, beforehand. So I will only be talking about uh, I would only be talking about uh, stuff that happens in the present, nothing that could happen in the future. So. All right. So we're walking through the snow. Uh, and it is really freaking dark. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go here. And for the sake of this video, I also um, deleted my save data from uh, my previous uh, run through of the game so that all of the collectibles and stuff are present so that, you know, all the goats and everything like that. Because we're gonna try to 100% this game, we're gonna try to collect at least everything we can. Um, now, 100%ing the game in the sense of getting all of the weapons is probably not going to happen. Um, there are like a finite amount. Uh, there is a finite amount of uh, money and stuff that you can get in order to get new weapons. So, you know, whenever we get the chance, uh, we'll just try to at least 100% all the collectibles that you can get in the game itself uh in one playthrough we got some dead fish okay and we'll also be talking about the environment and just talking about you know how this place is and how it uh you know how the overall feel of this game uh what it's trying to go for and everything so as you all know, this game is called Village, um, and so it mostly takes place in a village uh, in Europe. Uh, a lot of people like to say that this is the true uh, Resident Evil 4 uh, remake, which they're actually not not wrong at all. Oh, we got some noise. 
if you have headphones on while playing this game it is crazy okay so a lot of this early area is more of a setup um so yeah you you won't be really running into anything anytime soon you know a little jump scare Somebody's making a lot of noise for somebody who ain't paying no rent in this house. <sighs> and also while playing this game, I will be giving you general oh strategies and tips on how to get through uh, some of these levels to uh, some of these areas, not gonna say levels. Because I mean, at the same time, this could be considered a walkthrough also, but this is more of a story based walkthrough. That's why we're playing it on standard mode because I don't wanna make the game too hard that it's just like frustrating, but at the same time, you know, I wanna have, um, you know, I wanna be able to, you know, have fun through the game. All right. Uh, sorry, horsey. Uh, I am playing this game on PC, uh, max settings, uh, ray trace on, probably hitting about, I would say maybe about 80, maybe 90 FPS. Uh, if I wasn't using OBS, I'd probably be hitting around, uh, yeah, if I wasn't using OBS, I'd probably be hitting around 110, 120. Um, I want to go back real quick. Cause I want to go through here. Maybe, maybe they're out. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah, you're gonna be hearing a lot of noise. Yeah, there's really no collectibles or anything to really collect uh, around here, so. Don't worry about collecting things. You're going to be coming through this area a little bit later. And I know I said I wouldn't say anything about future story purposes, but it's not really story. It's just, you know, it's just what you're going to be coming what back happened? through. Okay, in here, this is, uh, all right, so we have the knife. Uh, never use anything to break open these boxes. Always use the knife. You can press F or whatever the action button is to break open boxes, or you can just plot the knife and uh, go ahead and open it like that. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Dead body? Wait, 
There's more. Okay, so go ahead and move him out of the way. Sorry, sir. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Okay, so this enemy right here, um, this is basically to learn how to fight this enemy. But if you want, you can actually just like do this little tactic right here. Stagger him real quick, run past him, go in here, pick up the bolt cutters, and he will actually disappear. Yeah, if you go back and pick up the bolt cutters, uh, which you have to do, he will disappear. Let's go ahead and pick up this chem fluid right here. And I'm going to try to make sure that I complete all the uh, areas because if you press uh, M and go to the map or just go to your map, uh, you will see that these areas are blue, meaning that they have been completely searched and there's no more items uh, in that area. So that's a good way of knowing that you've completed an area. So these videos will probably be about an hour long. Uh, I will try to make these videos so that they complete one area. And so, uh, you know, it just doesn't cut off in the middle anywhere. So let's try to close these. You can use that to barricade off areas. Uh, you'll only have to deal with one other uh, lichen, they're called, uh, which lichens are basically werewolves. So go ahead and pick up those two items over there. Go down here. Only one lichen will come down. Uh, none of these other ones will come through. So just got to deal with this one guy right here. Try to go for the headshots. They'll do the most damage doing headshots. All right. So enemies in this game do not drop. Um, they don't drop ammo uh, like in Resident Evil 4. They Over. drop uh, mostly uh, crafting materials, um, money, stuff like that. survivors okay so now we have to find the other survivors at louise's house uh this is going to be the tricky part so you have to stay alive for a certain amount of time this is a unbeatable situation uh they're not going to attack until you get into that house over there so go ahead and grab that as soon as you enter the house, just go ahead and close that. I'm gonna pick up the herb, open up this, get handgun bullets, and get the gunpowder off of that. I'll get the M1897. Pick up that. Pick up that. And we're gonna jump down here. Pick up that. And now you can do a little bit of a cheese strategy, I believe, by going right here. I believe enemies won't come down here sometimes they don't uh they won't come down here for a long time by standing here you'll get the attention of the other lichens just keep an eye out for these areas because you might have somebody come down over here uh this is a time-based thing you can't win the fight against them but if you run out the time eventually uh you will get grabbed by uh one of the lichens and it will trigger a cutscene. 
There's no end to them. All right, so it's time to go. They came a little bit earlier than I'm used to. Oh my God, duck down, please. Oh my God, duck down, please. <laughs> oh my God, I almost got killed. All right, so we're gonna run over here. Somebody's gonna bust through there, turn around, try to close the door over here. Open this up, grab handgun ammo, grab the shotgun ammo, reload the shotgun. And you can wait right here for these guys to actually let me go ahead and shortcut this to two shortcut that to three i mean to one i like to have my handgun on one shotgun on two and just wait for these guys to come through and blow up that barrel wow it's taking them a while to come through this gate Now try to go up here. You're trying to waste as much time as you possibly can while staying alive. Eventually a big guy will come out and you just got to deal with him. So just try to hold yourself up here. You know, take out any opposing enemies that show up. Shotgun is pretty good at clearing them out. Pick up whatever items you can. All right, so we're out of uh, shotgun shells. We're gonna jump down here. And we're gonna run over here. We're gonna try to get as many of them as we can. We're gonna try to make a mad dash for it. Yeah, so like I said, we're gonna just try to run out the time, run out the clock. You know, try to stagger them when we can. Oh shit! Somebody got me. All right, whatever. Oh, all right. Yeah, whenever you can hit that guard button, uh, it definitely helps. Alright, so yeah, just keep running around in circles. Keep doing what you can do. Oh, I ran into a dead end area. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's the cutscene.
So I feel like now would be a good time to explain uh, Ethan and how he's able to take so much damage. Uh, like I said before, in uh, Resident Evil 7, he was uh, basically infected with the mold, giving him uh, pretty good regenerative uh, abilities. So in Resident Evil 7, he was able to... Um, you know be decapitated you know not to de be decapitated like his body but like maybe his hand or his leg or something like that and as long as he had some kind of healing salve or something and he put his leg uh he attached his leg he was able to recover so uh pretty much the same here now i know his hand didn't fully come back uh and i think that's mainly because he wasn't able to get his fingers back from the lichen uh, so if you're ever wondering why he's able to take so much so many hits and keep it moving uh, That's mainly because he's been infected with the mold. So In life and in death we give glory uh, Hello You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you the child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Okay, so here is the, I would say the village hub. This is where you're going to be seeing a lot of, uh, you're going to be backtracking a lot. Oh, great lichens, the fable monsters, wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Okay, so we got some chem fluid over here. Uh, there's also going to be a locked, uh, a locked, you know, drawer right there. Um, also, there, if you lean down, there is 500 Lee, uh, Lay. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, like I said, uh, this area is red because there's still that locked uh, door right there. All right, so here uh, you can go ahead and find a, I believe, a crystal fragment right there. Uh, you're going to be selling that to uh, a character later on to the merchant for some money. A lot of items here you can actually sell to the merchant. OK, so we're also going to come up here and this is a goat. Uh, this is one of collectibles. Go ahead and knock that out. We're going to try to find all of them. Uh, here is a uh, locked gate. I'm not exactly sure how you open this yet. Uh, in my first playthrough, I never got to open it. I never found exactly what you had to do in order to open it. So I guess at some point we will find that out because I am going to be collecting everything. So you can find an herb here and the gravestone. Uh, your main focus is going to be uh getting the crests these two crests the over here the castle all right we're gonna run here i believe you can find a goat up here i usually don't like using bullets on those but i had to so you can find the maiden crest right here that's one thing for that uh also you look up here got a crystal fragment and should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. One is in the care of the church. The other is at Louise's house. All right. So you, uh, our goal is to go to Louise's. We also heard from the radio that we should go to Louise's house because there's survivors there. Uh, let's go ahead and check. This is all blue. That means there's no more items in this area. All right. And there's a well there. Uh, there's a couple of wells in the area. Um, that you need to use a well, I can't, I can't remember what it's called. It's called a well something. It's used to uh, draw up a pail so that you are able to get 
uh, an item or something out of them. All right, pick up a mine. Got some handgun bullets from over there. Uh, we have no shotgun shells. Uh, you can pick up some gunpowder. Uh, rusted scrap. Where did, where's that rusted scrap? Ah, there we go. Okay, so this area is cleared out. You can use these little flower bags right here in order to disorientate the enemies. I've never used them because I've had no reason. Uh, there are a couple of, uh, couple of lichens around here. Uh, what I like to do is run. Eventually you might run into one dead in your face. Uh, one thing you can do is put down a mine right here. Pull out the handgun. These guys are not dumb. They will retreat if they sense that you're trying to bait them into uh, a trap. You can kind of use it as a way to keep them at bay because they won't go too far. All right, if you get close enough, they will come. But they won't go close enough that... Oh, maybe... Huh. Alright, pick up a crystal skull. There's another uh lichen here. Pick up some rusted scrap. Yeah, there he is. Alright. I, I'm gonna try to bait this guy because I don't feel like using up all my ammo that I have. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Close the door. Please. Hey, what are you doing here? Please, don't hurt us. Whoa, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sending ducks in here. Can your old man walk? <laughs> No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so we have to find a way into Louise's house. Uh, so let's go. There's nothing in this uh, in this house. Let's go ahead and get some handgun ammo. Climb up here. Uh, there's some gunpowder. Open up the outhouse. There's actually an achievement for opening up all the outhouses. Um, I didn't get that achievement, so I still got to figure out how to do that. Uh, here is where you will find the other crest, but we can't open it just yet. So let's go ahead and open up the gate so that uh, those two people can get in. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. Uh, took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. 
father. <laughs> okay, so let's we go ahead and try to open up the door. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now. These people are our friends. Go on. Go inside. Come now. This way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Okay, so here, um, you can save. You can also go here. Uh, Louisa, they broke in again. I got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? Okay. And then we also have, uh, this right here. Uh, it's just a bunch of pictures. Um, you know what? I wonder if this these pictures kind of show off hidden areas where you might be able to find like secrets or something. Huh, okay. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Right, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good idea. Come, gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. 
There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> um, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to attack because no matter what, when he grabs you, it's just going to cause a cutscene. Let him go! Elena? I said no! Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Father. Hey. Hey. That wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. Okay, so from here, uh, there's really nothing to collect in this area. Um, you have to go in here. Uh, you can go ahead and get a herb right there. Uh, come into this room. I believe there's some money down here. 500 lei. On, what the heck? There we go. Uh, a note here. Take the screwdriver out of the key ring if you need it. Okay. All right, so we got the truck key. You can examine items in more detail. There you go. So you got the screwdriver out of the key. That's the key for the truck. Pick up some shotgun shells. Go ahead and reload. Uh, let's look at the map. Everything is blue. All right, so we've collected everything here. Damn, the fire's moving fast. So use that key and start up the car, uh, the truck. Step back. We can bust out with this. back up again the fire there isn't any time <laughs> nowhere to go but up <laughs> grab on hurry <laughs> let's move Okay, so now that we have control, we got to go run up here. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. I hope your family is safe. Come on, it'll hold. There, that's our way out. Thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no, that's not him. 
Not anymore. He said my name. Father! Wait, it's not safe. Stay there. Come on. Give me your hand. Ethan, go. Save your daughter. Elena, don't give up. Reach for me. Everyone dying on me. This is, this is just too much. Okay, so yeah, I all just, the survivors are done. This place is going mad. Why the fuck is this happening again? <sighs> Shit. Alright, so now that we're done with that area, we're gonna run out. Uh we're gonna use the screwdriver that we just picked up in order to open up this. And we're gonna get the demon crest. Which is, I think, a little wink, wink, nudge, nudge towards the Demon Crest series, uh, the Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, there was three games called Demon Crest for the Stop. Game Boy, Nin oh Super Nintendo, God. and Nintendo, I believe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was? What was that? And the guy Lillian, uh, that kind of gave us a little bit of a a uh, problem earlier uh was just killed off by some woman uh i don't know if there's any items in this area i don't think it really tells you of outside areas that have items really just inside areas um but there is some handgun ammo over here uh if i remember correctly let's see let's follow this wall right here and come back around uh, i believe there's some scrap over here you're going to be using rusted scrap in order to craft items, uh, mostly handgun bullets or ammo in general. Death. Huh? Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> Okay, anyways, now that we have those two crests, now we have to put them in there uh, inside the wall over here. So you're going to put the maiden crest on the slot in the right, and you're going to rotate it. And just try to match it up as uh, good as you can. Now for the second area, the demon crest. All right, and we're making our way to Castle Demetres. Blood and death. Huh? You can actually get a good amount of money killing uh, crows and stuff like that. So if you ever get a chance, go ahead and do it. All right, so now we're going to run into this cave. And I always like to make sure to hit the map button just to see if there's any items in the area that I need to collect. Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. <laughs> Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> Where 
Forget your whining. We're almost there. <laughs> The man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so well uh, entertaining foreigners. Uh, Furthermore, I can assure you that you entrust the mortal to house the task. My daughters and I shall deliver to you. Get out of way, ugly! I want to see! <laughs> He's awake! Brother, shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me. And I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Gag, gag, as a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! Go find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was welded oh, to Oh, keep glory! Hand. One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight! Fight! Hey, fight don't fight, I get a fight, say in this? Silence! Silence! My decision is final. There will be no more fight. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Lycans and gentlemen! We thank you for winning. And now let the games begin! Let's see what you have in there. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. All right, so now that you have control of Ethan, you're basically just going to be running. Um, yeah. Run for your life. This is fairly easy. You just keep running. Take a left right there. Go ahead and kick in that. Very nice, Ethan. <laughs> Okay, and so here, you're basically going to run straight ahead. Kick in this right here. Dunk down and go under. Shit! <laughs> My word. You truly are as strong as they say. Oh, you didn't think And you're going to run in this little play. divot right here. Gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. So now it's time for the beautiful blood-soaked grand finale. <laughs> Nothing like fresh American ground beef. <laughs> Too close. Wait, do those freaks have rows? All right, go ahead and pick up the items that were inside those two boxes. And gonna ammo and some lay. There's no items, so let's go ahead and just run straight forward. And this is going to lead back to where we first met Heisenberg. 
So we're going to go ahead and once again hit that. All right, and so here we are. Uh, I want to go ahead and kill some of these crows if I can. Try to get some money off of them. There is a horsey around here that you can actually hear. Ah, not a horse, a goat. Go ahead and take care of that. Uh, for a second, I couldn't see it. So, yeah, at least we got it. Yeah, like I said, the outdoor areas, you won't really know if there's an item or not. And here you are going to meet the Duke. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Shall I choose something? F a gift has arrived for you, good sir. Okay, so for basically buying the game, you're going to get some items for free. So you can go ahead yes, and I buy these. Be interested in that. Go ahead and pick up all the free items you can, even the lock pick. Pick up the charm. You eyeing that? Go ahead and equip that to the shotgun because, you know, why not? Pick up the shotgun shells for free. Thank you for your purchase. And, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and go to the Duke's purse. Uh, you should have at least, you know, most of these items. Uh, go ahead and sell all this little stuff uh, if you haven't already. I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. So what I like to do is I like to use the handgun most of the time because that is going to be your primary weapon, pretty much. I try to upgrade the uh, power and the reload speed because it just makes things a lot easier on me. Um, And why not go ahead and purchase the uh, schematics Please for uh, creating shotgun shells. Uh, actually, is there there's usually a save point with the Duke. Uh, there might not be one around here, so I have to go ahead and find one myself. All right, so as soon as you come in here, must be here, we're going to go ahead and break that, get you some lay. January 5th, Redneck, delivery of one male, three females. January 28th, Mother Miranda, meeting with Mistress Dimitrescu, and February uh, 1st, the Duke, business discussions. Okay, so the Duke is a, uh, a guy that, you know, we'll know, anyways. Uh, three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. So three, these are the three daughters of Demetresk. Go ahead and go in here. Pick up that. That's the only item you can get from down here. Now, as you can see, it is red. That means there's an item. Uh, if you take this elevator, later on, you'll take an elevator and you'll see an item that you can, you can see one of those jewels that will be in the wall. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Was that it right there? Oh, yeah, it was. All right, never mind. I remember I, I took the elevator and I saw it as I was going up and that's when I shot it. But anyways, yeah, it was right there. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go here. There's nothing in there. Uh, this door is locked from the other side. Go ahead and break this open. Go ahead and get some lay. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing in here. Sometimes there'll be an item in uh, some of those dressers. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing else in here.
Uh, this is a room over here where you will find uh, the Duke again. Uh, and Norstein's Labyrinths, a craftsman of the late 19th century. Norstein was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norstein then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human, uh, human remains, which are said to be Norstein's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. So you're going to find uh, these metal balls uh, throughout these areas, and you're going to use them in each of their respective labyrinths. And you're going to then navigate the ball from one area to another until you hit the goal. And you are going to be rewarded with the, uh, the, you know, certain item. Uh, basically this crystal skull, there's a red one, green one, yellow one, and I think a blue one. I'm not exactly sure. I've only gotten, I think about two or three. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and save right here. Thank you guys for all watching. We're going to end the video right here. And in the next part, we are going to go over going over this whole castle and exploring the lore of the Demetresk sisters and Lady Demetresk herself. Thank you guys for all watching. I'll ho I hope to see you in the next video and peace out.